The Minnesota Twins are doing exactly what the MLB feared. Walking into the postseason, the Minnesota Twins were one of the hottest teams in baseball. They had a record of 18-9 and nine and were just rolling over other teams. And based on the way their first playoff series went against the Toronto Blue Jays, it looks like they're continuing right where they left off. The Minnesota Twins are coming off of a series sweep in the wildcard series where they frankly just embarrassed the Toronto Blue Jays. Considering how that series just went, and how they finished off the regular season, I'm here to tell y'all that we have got to stop sleeping on the Minnesota Twins. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In this one, we are going to talk about these Minnesota Twins and how I think, based on what we just saw, they have the capabilities to go all the way. Before we do, if you enjoy baseball content and discussion, then I encourage you to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. All right, folks, let's get into it. Now, before I dive deep into the Minnesota Twins and what they did well in this series and what I think they will continue to do well as the postseason progresses, I just want to come out and tell all of y'all, I'm a massive Toronto Blue Jays fan. In fact, I literally co-run another YouTube channel called Blue Jays Today that covers everything Toronto Blue Jays based. Baseball. So, with that being said, I know firsthand exactly how good these Minnesota Twins can be, and honestly, folks, making this video is kind of painful for me right now. But with all that out of the way, let's get to the Twins. First thing that we gotta talk about here is Royce Lewis. Royce freaking Lewis, man. Where the hell did this guy come from? After coming up and being absolutely lights out as a rookie for the Minnesota Twins, Royce Lewis spent the last two weeks of baseball before the postseason just chilling on the IL. And as a Blue Jays fan sitting here and evaluating this series, I'm looking at Royce Lewis, seeing that he's been sitting on the bench and thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe he's going to be a little rusty. Nope. Lewis in his first game back in the playoffs hit two home runs for the Twins in back-to-back at-bats and was responsible for all three of the Minnesota Twins RBIs that game. In fact, it is very reasonable to say that had the Minnesota Twins not gotten Royce Lewis back, maybe they lose game one and then who knows what could have happened. To have a kid that young come in and do that when the lights are at the brightest, it just goes to show that the sky is the limit for Royce freaking Lewis. And that's just one guy. This Twins lineup is a hell of a lot deeper than people are giving them credit for. Something that nobody was talking about prior to the postseason is the fact that the Minnesota Twins had the most home runs in the entire American League. The team that everybody was chalking up as just a product of their division can absolutely swing the bat and whenever you have your catcher Jeffers with an 850 plus OPS just chilling in the eighth spot in your lineup clearly you're doing something well this twins offense is sneakily good and even though they only scored five runs Five runs was all it took to get the dub, so they were coming up in the clutch moments and delivering when their team needed it. And considering five runs was enough to literally sweep the series, that brings us to our next point, which is their pitching. The Toronto Blue Jays were thought to have one of the best rotations walking into the postseason, and honestly, they did their job. Limiting a team to five runs in two games is really good, and frankly, you probably should be walking away with at least one win in that scenario. But on the flip side, Side of things, the Minnesota Twins pitching staff, they were masterful. Pablo Lopez and Sonny Gray just absolutely dominated and that bullpen with Duran and with Jax, they just had their way with the Toronto Blue Jays lineup. And what's crazy is that this Minnesota Twins pitching rotation, their entire staff, they've been doing it all season long. No one is talking about how they were ranked sixth in ERA on the entire season and the fact that they literally continue to get better as the year went on. Like to go into the wild card series and give up one run in 18 innings and only have to burn two of your starters, I don't know what else to say other than GG. This Minnesota Twins team and the fact that nobody was talking about them before the postseason just goes to show that the disrespect for the American League Central it went too far in the other direction. Yes, it is the worst division in baseball, but to just assume that the team coming from that division will be just as bad is just inherently wrong. And now the Minnesota Twins, they're freaking set up. The Twins are gonna go on to play the Astros and they have all the momentum in the world. They also went four and two against the Astros in the regular season, proving to themselves that, yeah, they're capable of beating this team. As a Blue Jays fan, folks, I truly am in the most pain possible right now, but game respects game and Minnesota, y'all got game. But folks, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.